Today we're going to touch a little bit on eBay policies to be aware of, as well as options you can use to help increase your sales. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some things you can do to create more sales on things. Some ways to increase your opportunities, so to speak. Now, one thing we do that a lot of people think isn't allowed on eBay and is against the policies is contact people when we get new things in directly through eBay. Now, of course, you cannot send out unsolicited email at all through eBay. That is a direct violation of the policy. Now, what we do have is a list of people to contact when we get certain things in. Now, that is allowed on eBay, as long as it is not unsolicited, meaning they requested it, or you ask them if they would like to be notified in the future if you list more of those items up. That is fully bona fide. Now, we'll look at the policy in just a second here so you can see that for yourself. Now, a reason why this comes to be and why we've done it this way for quite some time is when you sell collectibles, many people look for certain specific items. They'll ask you, do you have this? Do you have that? I get questions like that weekly, constantly, all the time. So I've looked into this. I've looked at the policies, even called eBay in the past, on this directly before to see where we stand on keeping lists and contacting people when we get stuff in. The basics on this are that I always list the item on eBay before I contact anybody and tell them that the item is up. The people that we are contacting have asked us to tell them if they get a certain item in. Now, if somebody asks you, do you have this item? Do you have that item? You can tell them, no, at the present I don't, but I do get them in fairly often and list them. If you would like to know next time I list one on eBay, just let me know and I could add you to a list to contact. That is something viable. Now, there's nothing at all wrong with telling somebody through eBay's email system that you have items up that they have asked about. As long as they have said, yes, I want to know when you list these other items up, it is within eBay's policy to do so. Let's hop over right now to the member-to-member -member contact policy right now on eBay. Now, this is the member-to-member -member contact policy on eBay. Now, certain things you can never do. Make offers to buy and sell outside of eBay. That is a no-no. You can't send spam. No threatening um, others, no profanity. Exchanging any type of contact information is also against the policy. Um, the rest of this is whether they monitor your emails, which, yes, they can. It's through their system. It's a private email system, but they own it. It is their private email system, not technically ours. Um, so let's slide down here to the policy itself when they're addressing these certain issues. Again, it just goes into what they can do to you. Now, spam is the one that covers unsolicited. Again, it has to be unsolicited contact. We don't allow our members to send each other spam. Spam is an email or part of an email that is both unsolicited and commercial in nature. So you can't just randomly send out emails to folks and say, hey, check this out, if they've never contacted you and expressed an interest in getting that message from you. So again, if somebody asks you to let them know and it months down the line just do a screenshot of that email if you wish don't delete it and save it so it's still in the system as well so at least you can cover and say hey yes that happened now specific wise they're saying unsolicited email offers sent to potential buyers unsolicited again so if they have asked you for a message on when you list something, there is nothing wrong with you sending them to anybody who has asked you to tell them that. So if you've got three people that want to know when you list a specific item, it's no problem to send those out by eBay's own stated policy and what I have been told in person as well on a phone conversation. Next one is email messages sent to a member on a mailing list without that member's prior permission. Now, if somebody says they want to be notified when you get something and you put them on a list to email them when you get it, that is not the same thing. They have asked you. You have been given permission to tell them when you get it in. So again, that is legit as well. 
invitations to join a mailing list that aren't related to your eBay store. So as long as you're asking them if they want to be on a list for items that you put up in your eBay store, that is legit. And you can keep track of those people and send them a message when those items show up. So if you're outsourcing, you've got a list of things that you know people want right now, and you see one of those, you can buy it, you can list it, and then tell them it's up and get a quick sale in many cases out of doing that. It goes on again offers to buy or sell off eBay. Now we're gonna look at that one specifically in just a second here because somebody emailed me with that issue hitting them through eBay's punishment system, I guess you could say. Now it also goes on one more stop here to email sent using eBay's messages or features such as the contact member link to send unsolicited commercial offers. Again, unsolicited. If somebody asks you anything like that to tell them when you get something that is not unsolicited, saving a screenshot in a file with a list covers your bases, even though it's not necessarily necessary to keep a copy. Now, I keep a copy just to cover myself, just to be safe. Now, somebody did send me a message. They had just sold an item to somebody and messaged them that they had more of those in another store on another site. They weren't thinking they got smacked on the wrist from eBay and did not realize that you weren't allowed to do that. It was just some items that they hadn't just listed on eBay. They hadn't thought about it. It was their thought to me. Now, they were new. I've seen the store. It's not something that's a huge store or anything. So they're new. Something that they did not know. Now, they did get a ding on their account. They did get a minor suspension. The whole works just because of what they did. And they were shown a page and told to check out this policy, which we are going to pop over and look at right now as well. Now, this is the offering to buy or sell outside of eBay policy. Now, there's something on here that was pointed out to these folks, which kind of actually is contradictory to eBay's own system and how it does things these days. So this is the policy and what you can't do when you're selling on eBay. And the biggest glaring one here is list an item and then offer additional identical related items for sale outside of eBay. Basically, it's saying that I can't list the same items I have on eBay on another site and state that it's able to be sold. Now, this is what this person was told they couldn't do. Now, it's a big contradiction to what eBay allows because they do allow third-party apps that directly sync with eBay. Hip Platform, Bonanza are two that most people are at least aware of. And they also allow other third-party apps to access their pages openly. Now, a good example of one of these other sites or third-party applications would be Shopify, which directly links up with your eBay account and which is acceptable to eBay. If you go into Site Preferences, there's actually a section for third-party apps that you can see third-party apps that have access to your listings just like that. So my guess is whoever told this person that doesn't realize that this is probably an old policy. eBay hasn't addressed this in at least three years, what would be my guess. And I tell you that's the case because if you look down just a hair farther, they've got some videos that take you to YouTube that were posted in 2017, three years ago. But again, this was just quoted to somebody who was dinged for making offers technically by giving information to other items on other sites. So that information was told to them that they can't do this. Now, somebody should address this and change this up here, obviously, on eBay, because this is very confusing. I myself use a third-party site, the HIP platform, which automatically pulls the exact same listings I have on eBay to another site, which I am able to sell on the other site. You know, eBay openly allows that, knows it. It's stated on both platforms, basically, that I am allowed to do that. But yet the policy still states something totally different. So again, this is why people don't know what to believe when they see stuff like this. Again, the person admits full fault. They were dinged. I believe they were suspended for a certain length of time or had limited activity because of sending that information through the eBay message system. Again, I never would ever, ever, tell anybody to ever send anything through eBay's message system that would tell you them personal ways to contact you otherwise through another platform. 
or that would direct them to sell something uh, to them on another site. Keep it all on eBay. Follow the rules. I don't have any problem with the rules other than when the rules contradict eBay itself, which list an item and then offer additional identical or related items for sale outside of eBay. Again, that rule no way that rule is a valid rule by them allowing third-party apps. If they mean something else by that statement, they should clarify exactly what they mean. Again, eBay still is telling people that you can't do that, but yet they are allowing it to be done left and right with multiple platforms. Cross-listing is a thing. eBay, again, changes policies. It just appears that they haven't touched this one in probably three years. Now, these other platforms like Bonanza Hip and even probably Shopify to some extent three years ago may not have had these options available. So eBay needs to keep up with their own allowed changes and address the policies as they change them so that there's no confusion in this matter. But anyway, I just thought I would shout that out here because this is a major contradiction to what we're allowed to literally do right this very second on eBay. Well, that's what I got here. Hopefully that gives you some real eye openers on how some of the policies can work to your favor as long as you follow them to the letter. But that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gives you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit that bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Finally, a robot to stop ladies from squeezing Charmin. Don't, don't squeeze Charmin. Don't, don't squeeze Charmin. Charmin's doubly fluffy, doubly don't irresistible. Charmin. Don't squeeze. <gasps> Squeeze, Charmin, squeeze, Charmin, squeeze, Zach. Squeeze, Zach's right. Charmin made the ordinary way might not get squeezed, but Charmin's doubly fluffy. It's so squeezably soft. It's doubly irresistible. Don't squeeze, Charmin. Don't squeeze.